Hi, Juan. Um, I did leave a couple little comments, but I'm going to say a bunch of stuff right now. I want you to keep working on your essay. It's not, oh, sorry, my dog. It's not yet passing because of the wording. There are a lot of confusingly worded sentences, and it's possible that, well, it's possible that we really need to sit down, you and I, after class in my office and, and kind of talk this through. I, I think I can help you come up with a method for addressing the problem. I, so what I did, let me, let me just kind of scroll down here. I, I highlighted and, and flagged the areas that need to be clarified. Okay, and where I wrote unclear wording. And it's notably at the end of your two-body paragraph. So here's the end of your first body paragraph, the part where you're doing analysis. It doesn't sound like analysis to me, but the sentences are confusing. So I'm not really sure what... <clears throat> I'd like to talk to you and sort of ask you what you are trying to do so I can help you reword the sentences. And then again here in the last lines of your second body paragraph, and then your conclusion. So I'm just going to read a sentence from your conclusion because one thing you can do on your own is read your essay out loud. And reading it from the, from the last sentence to the first is a good way. So let's do that right now. Um, the reason you do it that way is because it kind of disorients your brain to the meaning. You want your... When you read your sentences out loud, you're trying, you're making sure that they, the sentences themselves are grammatically correct and, and, and sound right. So let's just do it. I'm going to read some sentences out loud. I would say that I look forward to my goals in my life from filmmaking and physical health, and I'm truly confident and strong in my ability goals of career and work. So... I don't know if you heard the glitches, but like right here, my goals in life from filmmaking, for this word from doesn't work here. Truly confident and strong in my ability. I, it's, the, it's the prepositions in this sentence that aren't working that make that sentence not make sense. Okay, here's the next sentence. I'm gonna read it out loud. The general statement of my goals is that attend film school and studied a big English class for writing, and the other being that you would sign up as a motivational speaker to help out people in physical health. You need the credential that you athletic in sports, knowing your running skills, weight pieces of training, or very good sports swimmer. It's just, I just don't... It almost looks like, um, I wonder if, it almost looks like tran a translation. I wonder if you thought that, that sentence in a different language, because it almost looks like a translation problem. But that's what I'm seeing in, in this last paragraph is um, just really confusing sentences. So you might be able to do some work on this before we meet, but I definitely want to meet and kind of just interview you to find out mm, what's going on and how I can help you best. The other thing I notice is that you have some sentence errors. So in, in your introduction where I left the little highlights, it's because you need a full stop. So let me give you an example. I see that everyone loves to be healthy and never sick from the diabetic condition. Mm, there's some wording problems here too. And constant heart disease, period. It's a big cause in society, period. I have a few family member, family passing away. Yeah, there's some wording problems in here too. And also you're not using periods. So um, I really want you to keep working on the wording here. And I would like to help you. So if you could do a little bit of that work before Wednesday and we can meet after class Wednesday, that would be great.